School is officially back in session. And that means your brain is probably hard at work these days. Either way, it's not too late to take the school year by the horns and make the most of your lessons. That's right, you've got some ingenious school hacks coming at ya! To some people, studying is an art. And there are lots of fun ways to make boring reading a little more interesting. I've always underlined my notes and, needless to say, it's pretty underwhelming. What kind of highlighter is that? Okay, I'm about to drop some knowledge on you, Sophia. Simply take a regular yellow highlighter like this and bleed other colors right into the tip. You can do as many as three different hues. See? It's so simple. Give it a try. Whoa! It's like a pretty rainbow is bringing life into this boring science material. Yep, this highlighter has officially kicked my sorry little pen's butt. Studying suddenly doesn't seem so bad after all. Let's see, what books will I need today? Oh, don't forget your pen! What? There's a math test today? How could I have forgotten this? I didn't even study. What am I going to do? Way to get the school year off to a good start, Vicky. Wait a minute. This little band-aid may just save the day. If you find yourself in a bind before a big test, use a band-aid to hide a little cheat sheet for yourself. Just make sure the paper is smaller than the band-aid and you're good to go. Now just wrap it around your finger so that no one can see it. Leave it to a band-aid to make everything feel better. Alright, I think I'm ready for class. It's only the first question and I'm already lost! Okay, it's the perfect time to take a sneak peek at my little friend. Oh yeah! Now I remember this formula! Quick, put the band-aid back on before the teacher sees! You're one smooth operator, Vicky. Hey, is it somebody's birthday? When it comes to a friendship, you guys deserve an A+. Man, you blew all those up, Amy? Looks like Sophia got stuck with the tedious task of pencil sharpening. That stuff sure makes an awful mess, doesn't it? Okay, Amy, don't blow too hard. Whoa, we have a wild one, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, it landed in my pile of pencil shavings! Have you ever heard of happy accidents? This little accident is about to spawn a genius idea. If you're tired of getting pencil shavings all over the place, try putting the sharpener into a deflated balloon. Now you'll never have to worry about making a mess. Pretty clever, Sophia. Man, all this test taking really makes me work up an appetite. Aha! A little sugar jolt is exactly what I need right now. Which one should I eat first? Huh? Ugh, fine, you can have them back. Ugh, I don't think I can wait till lunch to eat. Behold, more delicious chocolate! Jeez, what's a girl gotta do to get a moment alone with a sweet treat around here? Wait a minute. I know exactly what I should do. Put one of your binders onto your desk and open the metal rings. Take a clear sleeve and assemble it onto the rings. Poke it through if you have to. Now stash your favorite treats into the clear sleeve. Now you have your very own secret stash. Is the coast clear? Time to indulge in a secret snack. Nothing to see here, people. Um, shouldn't you guys be focusing on your work? Way to play it cool, Lily. Time to reward yourself for a job well done. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. We all know that sound. Rise and shine, Kevin. It's time to wake up. No, don't hit the snooze button. You've got a class to get to. Uh-oh, Kevin has officially entered the dangerous snooze cycle. Yep, he's a goner for sure. Psst, Kevin, you've got to get up, dude. Ugh, man, that was such a great sleep. Nothing can ruin the feeling of waking up feeling completely refreshed and well-rested. Except for when you realize you've slept through the first two classes of your day. 
If I sneak in really quietly, maybe the teacher won't even notice I'm late. Whew, that was a close one. But I have no idea what the teacher's talking about. Wondering how to break your snooze habit? Ugh, I wish this thing didn't have so much power over me. Perhaps it's time I take the power back. If you have a regular old alarm clock, like Kevin here, you'll want to make it impossible to hit the snooze button. Get a bunch of pushpins and line them up on the buttons of your alarm. Tape them all down by piercing them through a long piece of tape. Ouch! Let's hope this does the trick. Sleep tight, Kevin. Kevin, no! The pins! By golly, it actually worked! Well, look who's the first person in class! Hey, Kevin! What are you doing here? What? Surprised to see you here this early. Turns out I'm more of a morning person than I thought. Everyone who's ever taken art class knows learning how to draw a perfect circle is a must. Unfortunately, it takes quite a bit of patience. Nicely done, Teach! Hey, Lily. How are your circles looking? Uh-oh. That's not the face of confidence. Yikes. Those circles are pretty far from perfect. Sorry, Lily. Don't freak out, girl. There's got to be an easier way. Anyone in here have some rubber bands or something? Oh, I can use one of Lana's hair ties. If you have a couple pencils and a rubber band, you can make yourself your very own drafting compass. Just take two pencils and attach them at the top tightly with a rubber band or hair elastic like this. Now take a third pencil and put it across the bottom too. It should look like the letter A. Take two more rubber bands and attach the third pencil to the other two like so. Don't forget the other side. There you go. Pretty nifty, huh? Now you can draw circles with ease. Wow, that one's pretty darn perfect. And you can adjust the width of your pencils for bigger or smaller circles. Hey, where did all my hair ties go? Lily, why do I have a feeling you're behind all this? Don't be mad! Look at my perfect circles! It's always something with you, isn't it, Lily? Sitting in the back of the classroom can let you get away with just about anything. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't still be sneaky with your extracurricular activities. Excuse me? Oh, sorry, Teach. I was just finishing up my makeup. I'll put it away now. Looks like Kevin was already one step ahead of the game. She didn't suspect a thing. That was a close one. Okay, and back to the game. Hey, how are you getting away with that, Kevin? I want to play too! I don't want to be the only chump studying back here. Want to have your very own sneaky notebook like Kevin has? Place your makeup, game, or whatever else in the middle of the page and outline it with a pencil. Now remove the item and cut along the lines you've made with a sharp blade. Ooh, watch those fingers! Take out the middle pieces and you've got yourself a secret activity notebook. Perfect fit. Now you can do your makeup in class without giving yourself away. Pretty genius, right? Quick, the teacher turned the other way. It's the perfect time for a quick eyeshadow touch-up. Looking good, girl. Looks like you've learned more from me than the teacher, huh, Vic? Ooh, teacher alert! Act natural! Hey, teacher! See? We're hard at work back here. That was so close. Feels pretty good being bad, doesn't it? Okay, but get back to work, guys. You do have a test coming up, remember? Another day, another difficult math test. But as if the equations weren't hard enough, a broken calculator can take things from bad to worse. Ugh, what's wrong with this thing? What the heck? It was working yesterday! It probably just needs a new battery. Let's see, I can just replace it and it'll all be good. Oh no, I totally brought the wrong size battery. I can't believe this! What do I do? Ooh, that's a bummer, isn't it? Hey Lana, check out the gum wrapper Lily's holding. Do you think it could help? Hey, give me that! Huh? If you find yourself in a battery jam like Lana here, all hope is not lost. Simply take a foil gum wrapper like this one and crumple it up into a ball. 
and make sure the foil part is facing the outside. Put the wrapper against the metal coil like this. Now stick the battery against the foil as if it were the regular coil. Here comes the moment of truth. Yes! We have power, people! Phew! I was pretty worried for a minute there. Who knew my piece of gum would save the day? Did you find these school hacks useful? Well, give yourself a little break and enjoy these side-splitting bloopers. Be sure to share this video with your classmates and subscribe to 123Go's YouTube channel for more fabulous videos like this one. See you in class, friends!